This is kind of a unique problem where we're having to account for the speed of sound. So first off, let's recall our speed formula. So the speed of anything, including sound, is equal to the distance that it travels divided by the amount of time it takes. In this case, we know the speed of sound, it's given to us as 340 meters per second, but in the case of this problem, we're trying to solve for information about the displacement and the time. So we know the speed of sound, and we also know how far the speed is traveling, because we're given the length of the bowling lane. So let's algebraically solve this for delta t to solve for the amount of time it took for the sound to travel. So multiplying both sides of the equation by delta t and dividing both sides by the speed of sound, some pretty basic algebra there, we find that the speed of sound is equal to the length of the lane divided by the speed of sound. So the time that it took for the ball to travel is equal to the length of the lane, 16.5 meters, divided by the speed of sound, 340 meters per second which is equal to 4.85 times 10 to the power of negative 2 seconds. So we're told the total time it took between the ball being thrown and the sound being heard. So we can subtract this time, the period of time we just found, from the total time to find out just how long it took for the ball to travel across the lane. So the total time, yes, yeah, so, so the time it took for the ball to travel is equal to the total time divided by or minus the time for the sound. So this is the total time of 2.8 seconds minus 4.85 times 10 to the power of negative 2 seconds, which if you put into a calculator is just equal to 2.7515 seconds. That is the total time, or the time it took for the ball to travel down the lane. So if we want to find the speed of the ball, we'll take the length of the lane and divide it by that time period. So 16.5 meters, the length of the lane, divided by the time it took for the ball to travel down, divided by 2.7 five one five seconds put this into a calculator and we get about six meters per second and so that is our answer to this problem i hope this video helped you out if it did please consider subscribing or donating to my patreon as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this if you have a request or a question leave a comment down below and i hope you all have a good night Bye bye